Minecraft, Ark, Rust, Subnautica. These are all games that fall under the survival category. And let me give you a hot take. Thought of just playing these games seems like a snooze fest. And I kind of hate that. I finally found a game that might be changing my opinion on these survival games. You saw it in the title, that game is Power World. The brand new game who seems to be taking the internet by storm, for better or for worse. What is it about Power World that is actually making gamers like me, who don't typically play survival games, finally take a crack at this genre? Well, let's find out. Now, I've put in about 20 hours of gameplay into this game, and let me tell you something, I'm actually freaking loving it. From exploring the world, to building the perfect PAL team, and even starting a sheep fight club, this game has definitely started to change my stance on survival games. And if you aren't into those games as well, I actually think Power World might be that game that changes your opinion as well. Now, personally, one of the reasons why I've stayed away from survival games is the lack of a story. As a filmmaker, I've always loved storytelling, and I've always loved being taken on an adventure. For that main reason, I've always preferred playing single player experiences like The Last of Us or like God of War. Games that make me feel like I am part of a movie and I am able to experience a story the developers are trying to tell through gameplay. Now, I don't know if you knew, but it's no secret that survival games don't really base themselves on a good story. And if there is a bit of a story, it always seems like it's just shoehorned in in order to make the whole game a little bit more cohesive, kind of closing that circle. Another huge reason why I've always avoided survival games like The Plague is because of the micromanaging aspect. Like, I don't know if I'm wrong for not wanting to spend 80% of my time just gathering like wooden resources. Like, that doesn't seem fun to me. When I play video games, I want to play a video game. I don't want to play a farming simulator or like a fishing simulator. Like, what are we doing? At first glance, all survival games kind of just seem like a more mature version of Animal Crossing and don't even get me started on that game. Oh, but Kevo, in survival games, you can build yourself a cool little house and put some furniture around and make it feel like it's your own place. Yeah, I don't care. If I want to play pretend house, I'll just go ahead and download Hello Kitty Island Adventure. To me, it seemed like the main game loop in survival games was gather, build, repair, gather, sleep a little bit because you're kind of sleepy, yeah. gather, but hey guys, most importantly, these games, you have to gather. Now, I'm not totally just trying to trash on survival games, but all the main aspects of that gameplay just didn't seem appealing to me. But I would love to hear what you guys have to say about survival games. And if you are into them, what game would you recommend to a non-fan like me that you think could change their stance on the genre? So yeah, let me hear your thoughts and suggestions down below in the comment section, guys. So if I'm making a whole video about why I hate survival games and why the hell did I decide to dump 20 hours into Power World? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Pokemon. Now let's be completely honest guys, the 7 million plus people who have bought this game, all they want to do is play Pokemon with guns and honestly like can you blame them? That sounds freaking awesome. Now I am pretty sure there's a decent percentage of those 7 million people who are playing the game who also are like me, like they don't like survival games so Power World's doing something cool right? Now I am not one to typically follow the hype train of what is popular therefore I have to play it because I want to be cool too, like I don't really care. But Power World actually seemed kind of fun. One of the main reasons I was interested in it is just because I I want to see their take on the Pokemon monster catching formula. Growing up in the 90s, Pokemon was always my jam. I always loved playing the video games and I've owned almost every single Pokemon game that has ever come out. Now, even if you're a fan of the series or not, it is no secret, especially with Scarlet and Violet, how Pokemon just farted out a broken game. And it seems like they don't even care about how the game plays because they know that they're just gonna cash out at the end of the day. So after hearing how Power World took heavy inspiration, in some cases, super heavy inspiration from Pokemon, I was very intrigued. So I set aside my hatred for survival games and I decided to give Power World a try. Also, I have PC Game Pass and it's on there. So I was like, dude, it's a no brainer. Let's just try it out, right? I understand that some survival games can be brutally hard and that's part of the appeal for some people to play these games. Now, within the first 15 minutes of playing Power World, I noticed that that brutally hard thing that is usually associated with survival games was not the case here. This is definitely a more casual like experience. From the beginning of the game, the game literally gives you a bunch of resources. That way you can get started at your home base and survive what is considered in survival games the hardest part, which is surviving the first night. So I build my home base and I set off to be the very best. I wanna be one of the main reasons I fell in love with Power World is definitely the combat system, guys. Throwing out your pow to do some serious damage while you dodge attacks and also lay down some cover fire with your weapon is a really enjoyable game loop. And honestly, this game really allows me to live my dream of actually being part of a Pokemon battle. Even if that means I'm just shooting poison arrows at a pal and, you know, they don't die. I, I would like to think they don't die, but they do get poisoned. Now, one of the things that I found most appealing is that Power World really seems to give you, the player, a lot 
lot of freedom of how you would like to play the game. If you want to focus on more of the traditional survival aspects of the game, you can definitely do so. Or even if you just want to give your focus to catching all the pals in the world and building out your pal decks, aka not a Pokedex. I mean, come on, they could have tried a little bit harder on that one, right? But at the end of the day, the freedom truly is yours. Not one time that I ever feel like the game was forcing me to do some gathering and do some building. Yeah, there was part of it for the tutorial, but like you need to learn how to do that anyway. But other than that, if I didn't want to build, I didn't have to build, honestly. Now, like in any game, it is best to optimize your gear and the gear of your companion. In Pal World, since there are no stores whatsoever, you can't just go out and buy gear. You have to craft everything. Initially, I was like, oh, well, here we go. I knew I was gonna hate this game. Here's the endless farming and looting aspect that is just, it's not interesting to me. But I was pleasantly surprised that finding whatever materials you need isn't really that hard. The main reason being that any item that you need to craft something in specific, most of the time you will find that item by just defeating any of the pals. Being that I really just wanted to focus on the pal fighting aspect of the game, this made gathering resources and items, it made it feel like it was part of the adventure, not made it feel like a chore like other games tend to do. Now, as far as visuals go, the game doesn't really seem to be like innovating anything crazy. I do think it actually looks really pretty and I like the art style that they decided to go. With. I don't know if it's just me, but in my opinion, a lot of survival games just seem very muted, like as far as colors and saturation. And I do appreciate the color pop that this video game offers. Oh, but Kevo, the game only looks really pretty and it has that aesthetic because it's using AI generated pals based off Pokemon models. I mean, yeah, that's that, that might be a tough one to argue against, but it doesn't stop the fact that they do look really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're like me and you never really found yourself interested in playing survival games due to the steep learning curve and the brutal nature that they usually have, I really think you should give Pal World a go. It is a more engaging and casual take on a very popular game genre. Now, this allows you to learn the mechanics and not focus too much on the micromanaging gathering resources aspects that people don't seem to like. Therefore, letting you explore to your little heart's content, which is, that's what I kind of love the game. Now, I think if you are somewhat into Pokemon, you should definitely check out this game because it does have that similar monster catching aspect. Like I said before, the game is literally being called Pokemon with guns. So honestly, like if you like Pokemon, like what are you waiting for guys? Just play the game. Now we've seen a lot of games in the past try to juggle way too many things all at once. And that usually ends with the game sucking and crashing and burning. Now I think this game really tried to do a lot of things all at once. But what I find very cool is that it somehow seemed to find a sweet little balance. Hence, kind of a success right now. So just for that reason alone, I think Power World is definitely a worthy game to check out. Competition drives innovation. With the massive success of Power World, I definitely think we'll start seeing other survival game franchises implement some more engaging elements as part of their gameplay in order to appeal to a massive audience. Also, I think the success of this game might light a bit of a fire under the Pokemon company's butt as far as actually having them dedicate more time, love, and care into their video games. So we're not just getting broken games all the time. Now, I cannot wait to put way more hours into Pal World. Even the solo gameplay experience seems to be very fun, and I've been honestly bullying a lot of my friends to download and play the game. That way we can party up and take down world bosses together. It kind of even has a little bit of a Monster Hunter aspect, if you ask me. But one of the things that I'm most excited about is that the game is still in early access. Now, this means that it can or cannot become better. So with this massive success, I hope that the developers really decide to reinvest all their earning, not all their earnings, but dedicate some time into making this game, which is, seems to be good right now, even better down the line. But most of all, I'm just happy that I finally found a survival game that I can get behind. And so far, I've been loving this experience. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like this video while you're at it as well, or even share it with a friend who is like me and hates survival games and let, let me convince them, I got you. But also, I would love to hear your opinions on the game if you played it or if you are planning on playing the game. But yeah, if any seasoned survival pros are watching this video, I would love to hear your guys' opinion as well on the game. So thank you for watching this week's video. It really means the world to me and I'll catch you guys in the next one.